My name is Phil Singer. I'm a um, Dan Oaken Professor of Environmental Science and Engineering at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Um, I got my PhD in 1969 at Harvard University. I worked with Werner Stumm, and the title of my thesis uh, was The Chemistry of Ferrous Iron Oxidation and Applications to Acid Mine Drainage. After getting my PhD in 1969, I taught at the University of Notre Dame for four and a half years, and um, then moved to the University of North Carolina. And I taught there for 37 years. I recently retired just this last month. Um, I guess the high points in my career were uh, teaching a lot of students and having the opportunity to advise a lot of students. Um, I taught courses in aquatic chemistry and physical chemical processes. Um, a lot of students over the years took those courses, students from aquatic chemistry and biology, the engineering students. Um, I had um, about 120 master students that I advised and about 20 PhD students that I advised. Um, it's very rewarding to see the accomplishments that they've achieved uh, in their afterlife, their life after graduate school. I've been very fortunate to have very good students, and um, um, I uh, have won several awards um, as a result of the research work I did with them. I've won teaching awards at the university. Um, uh, I also won the Clark Prize uh, from the National Water Research Institute, um, a recipient of uh, the AP Black Research Award from AWWA, uh, the Gordon Maskew Fair Award from the American Academy of Environmental Engineers, and I was elected into the National Academy of Engineering in 1995. So I've had a good career, and I've had good students, and uh, uh, I've enjoyed myself. I guess the principal challenges um, are challenges that were associated with, uh, uh, with fundraising, uh, raising dollars to support my research. It was much easier in the early years with, uh, with training grants that supported students and um, a fairly uh, large opportunity to uh, write proposals and get contracts and grants to support students. But then as um, the years progressed, it became more and more difficult uh, to continually have to write proposals to find dollars to support students. So um, I did it. Uh, I was able to carry on a successful, I think a successful, research career for, uh, for my 40 plus years of teaching, but it got more and more difficult as time went on uh, to raise dollars to support students. Having said that, I did support them, they graduated, and they're out there being productive. There are several people that were very influential in allowing me to, uh, to achieve what I did. First of all, uh, foremost, is uh, my PhD advisor, Werner Stumm. Um, he was just, um, just hard work, very difficult to describe, um, but just so influential in the way he approached things, uh, what he taught us, uh, what I learned from him that carried me on for the rest of my career. Um, Charlie O'Melia, who was a colleague at the University of North Carolina before he went to Johns Hopkins, uh, Charlie taught me a lot about uh, process engineering and uh, was a great mentor, his style, uh, the way he dealt with people. Um, he was a very good role model for me. Um, Russ Chrisman was... Um, uh, my first department chair at the University of North Carolina. Uh, Russ worked on natural organic material for much of his life, and uh, I learned a lot from Russ, and uh, it's helped me a lot in, in my work. And of course, um, like I said earlier, a number of students that uh, have done very, very good research and have really uh, helped me to achieve what I've achieved. 